welcome back to yet another video tutorial from SS Biology. Today's topic is sex determination in Drosophila. To understand the process, you have to watch the video till the end because it is a very difficult topic to understand. Now, at the first segment of the video, I am going to discuss about genic balance theory, which is postulated by Kelvin Bridges in 1921. And the next segment, I will talk about the molecular basis by which the sex determination is done in Drosophila. So keep watching. Now, in both mammals and in Drosophila, XX and XY, this XX are females and this XY is are males. But in both, in mammals as well as in Drosophila. Okay. But they achieve this, you know, female and male, in very different way. In case of mammals, in case of mammals, what happens is that Y chromosome plays a pivotal role in determination of sex. That is, Y chromosome is a main determinant factor of maleness in mammals. So individual with X0 will be, in case of mammal, is female. But when this event occurs in Drosophila, they will be male. Why it is? Let's talk about in details. In Drosophila, Y chromosome is associated with in Drosophila the Y chromosome is only associated with the production of sperm in adults. It does not play any role in sex determination. So what plays the main role in determination of sex in Drosophila is this X chromosome. In diploid cell if two X chromosome is present, then that fly will be female. And in other diploid cell, if one X chromosome is present, that you know that fly will be male. Or in case of other type of case, that is if two sets of X chromosome and three sets of autosome is present, then that fly will be a mosaic. Okay. Why it is happening? In 1921, Kelvin Bridges postulated that the sexual fate of Drosophila depend upon the ratio of autosome to sex chromosome. If the ratio of autosome to sex chromosome, that is X chromosome that is, is 0.5, then the fly will be male. And if this ratio is 1, then the fly will be female. Okay. In Drosophila and in insects in general, we observe gynandomorphs. What is this gynandomorphs? Gynandomorphs are the organism that shows both male and female characteristics. Gynandomorphs can have bilateral asymmetry. One part male, one part female, or it can be a mosaic. Why this gynandomorph occurs? During early stage of the development, if a cell lost its chromosome during mitosis, <coughs> what happens is that during early stage of the development, 
when the cell has XX chromosome. And during mitosis, one cell loses one X chromosome and become X0. And other cell contain both two X chromosomes. This part becomes female and this part which lost one chromosome will become male. Okay. And the descendant of this cell will be male and descendant from th of this cell will be female. And this condition is called gynandomorph. So gynandomorph occurs due to the non-disjunction or chromosomal lagging during the mitosis in the zygote or in the early development of the embryo. Now from the genetic balance theory we get that autosome is to X chromosome ratio, autosome is to X chromosome ratio determines the fate of the fruit fly or Drosophila, <coughs> Drosophila sex. Okay. Either if 0 0.5, this ratio is 0 0.5, then the uh, fly is fem uh, male. If the ratio is 1, then the fly, fly is female. Alright. <coughs> Secondly, the factor that causing the fly to become male is present in the autosome. And the factor that causing the fly to become female is present in the X chromosome. This X chromosome contains, uh, contains certain gene that is causing this um, no, embryo to become female. These genes are called the sex switch genes. And they are named as sex lethal gene that is asexual gene it is very important now let's move to the molecular basis of this sex determination in drosophila this asexual gene has two promoters promoter early and promoter late. In female, promoter early and promoter late both are active. But in male, only the promoter late is active. Now, let's talk about what happens when in the female, when the fly becomes female. I have already said in female both the promoters are active so at first X chromosome produces few transcription factors or pro proteins called CSAs, scout, rond or unpaired. They bind to the promoter early. This CSA, scout or rond, they bind to the promoter early and activate, uh, activate the transcription. Okay. This unpaired, unpaired protein through jackstar pathway reinforces their concentration. This is a scout and runs concentration. And they are they are together called num. This num num complex, which is encoded by the X chromosome, binds to the to the promoter early and they produce asexual pre-mRNA. This mRNA has two parts, intron and exons. We all know that exons are the coding part and uh, <coughs> coding part and introns are the non-coding parts. Uh, through the splicing mechanism, the non-coding parts are removed and mature mRNA are produced. So after the binding of num num complex to the uh, promoter early region of the asexual gene, the SXL pre-RNA are produced. After that, it is through the uh, you know alternative splicing, the introns are cut and produces the mature mRNA, SXL mRNA. And from the mRNA, SXL early protein are produced. Later, we, uh, then what happens? The promoter, late promoter, is active after that the uh, 
late promoter become activated and it produces another mRNA that has a stop codon at the third you know, exon region. In this region, the RD, essential RD protein comes and bind to it and splice it or cut it from the mRNA and a functional late SXL protein is produced. Now what happens next? After the production of functional late SXL protein, another gene that plays an important role in sex determination and drosophila comes. That is called TRA protein. TRA stands for transformer protein. Okay, the product of transformer gene is contain three exons, one, two, and three. The second exon contain a stop codon. The SXL late protein then comes and binds with the second position of the exon and remove it and thus produces sharp functional protein. Another important gene that is associated with the sex determination is DX, DSX gene which stands for double sex gene. This DSX gene is a sex determination gene. It controls the phenotypic character of the fly. We have already talked about the function, how functional TRA protein is produced. After that, TRA binds with another protein called TRA2 protein. And that complex binds with the product of DSX transcription. The DSX transcription has three exons, three, four, and five. This tra, uh, tra and Shato complex binds with that product and cuts the fourth exon and produces a protein called DSX female protein that produces female characteristics. This is what happened in theory when female flies are produced. Now what is happening when the male fly, fly is produced? We have already talked about that. In males, uh, promoter early is inactive. Why it is inactive? Nam-nam complex is not present. There either dem-dem complex or nam-dem complex are present. Okay, so as the pro promoter RD is not present, so pro uh, RD SXL G, uh, protein will not be produced. So if RD uh, and but the promoter late late promoter is active, so late SXL mRNA late SXL mRNA will be produced. But as the functional SXL R is not produced, the functional SXL late protein will not be produced. Why? To produce the functional late SXL protein, this third exon has to be excised from the mRNA. So as the SXL I D is not present, this portion remains associated with the mRNA and thus this functional SXL protein is not produced. This protein is degraded. So, what happens next? Again, the important gene is TRA. TRA produces the product of TRA has three exon, two, one, two, three. Second part of uh, the second exon contains the uh, stop codon. In previously, what was happening when the functional SXL, uh, uh, functional SXL, uh, late SXL is pres uh, was present, it come and uh, came and bind with, with the second portion and it cut out the uh, second portion and the tra functional protein was available. But as here no functional late SXL protein uh, is available, the functional tra protein is not, is also not available. So, in males, 
this SHA protein is not available. So, what happens next? In males, in in the place of SHA, SHA protein, two SHA dimers are formed. These two SHA dimers, this dimer of SHA protein binds with the product of DX, DSX gene. Okay. And after the binding with it, it cuts. it cuts the fourth exon and produces TSX DSX male protein which produces male characteristics so this is the entire process that is how the sex determination in Schwarzophila is done and the entire process is dependent upon alternate spicing. So this is it. This is all for today. If you have any question regarding this topic, uh, <clears throat> the comment section is open. Do comment there or you can interact with us in our various social media, uh, social media accounts from Facebook to Instagram or you can mail us in our email id and if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as well as share this video with your friends so that we can reach up to more people